The subject of today's review video is to install Linux operating system on a phone with Android operating system. We will install and run the Linux operating system on the Android operating system. Then we will install VS Code, which is a software development application on Linux. For this, we first download the application called FDroid. We will install the Termix application from this application. We need FDroid app for Termix app to install all dependencies. After installing the FDroid application, we install the application called Andronix. When you first open the FDroid application, it will update the repository and you can wait a while. Now, we are installing the Termix application and we are very close to installing Linux. What does the Andronix app do? It will provide us with the necessary commands to install Linux via Termix. When we run the commands we copied from here in the Termix application, we will start the Linux installation process. And finally, the process of installing Ubuntu Linux on Android has started. After the Linux installation is completed via Termix, we will view the interface of the Linux operating system with the application called VSE Viewer. So in this case, you need to install the VSE Viewer application as well. We start the VSE server via Termix after setting the password. We also determine the screen resolution. Then we will connect the Linux interface by opening the VSE Viewer application. Since Linux is on your Android device, you can connect by typing localhost in the connection section. We copy the command required to install the VS Code application from the Andronix website and paste it into the command line in Linux. VS Code installation is currently in progress. We also installed the VS Code application. We can try coding with VS Code by installing Python into it. Now, let's repeat what we did. If we make mistakes in these parts, we may not be able to run it. We open the Termix application and type the commands on the screen. We set the screen resolution. The Linux operating system was started in this way and we connected to the interface with the VSE application. Then we enter the command to start the VS Code application from the command line and VS Code starts. Now I enter a simple Python code and want to run it. However, while saving, I saved the name to complex and therefore it gave an error. Your code will work when you use a simple name instead of characters in the file name when saving. We have come to the end of today's topic. See you later.